Hi all, welcome to John's Bomber Making. Thank you for tuning in. Today I've got a channel update for you. I'm just getting my microphone all tangled up around my feet. Now, um, the channel has actually surpassed 1 million views on about three or four weeks ago. So we're well into the <laughs> next million views, which is absolutely fantastic from the channel. Um, I can't remember any videos. I've got about 570 videos up on uh, line and I've been going, what, three and a half years? So it's not too bad, I'm pretty chuffed with it. Now, I have got some updates for you where the Lancaster bomb is concerned, my wooden version, and the Titanic. Now, I'm expecting the Titanic tomorrow, hopefully. I've got uh, a notification this morning, uh, so I'll get a delivery between 2 and 4 o'clock tomorrow. Now, like I said, I've been working on the uh, Titanic. There we go. I've been doing a little bit of painting modifications. I'll show you this on the overhead in a minute. I've got a crane here as well that I've taken off and painted. I have painted the other one as well. Yeah, I'll show you. Give, I'll show you a close up of that. And the other uh, update is my wooden uh, Lancaster bomber. Here we go. There's an air cell in place. You can see that's clear there as well. Here, yeah. So you can actually see the detail inside and underneath. You can see the detail. Obviously, this needs painting, but uh, yeah, everything is ready for that to be painted now. That uh, side of the wing. Just need the aileron in place. Yeah, that look fantastic. Anyway, let me show you uh, what else I've done. There we go, there she is at the moment. I've uh, started on issue under 19. That I've just got to glue into place. That is part of issue under 19. These two panels here, they'll be fitted. Um, and they need magnets on. Um, they do sit nicely there. So I want to get the magnets in place. That should pull it down, hopefully. Same with this one. These I did a while ago. I just need to clean the... Uh, outer panels the outer surfaces and then um, prime them and paint them the earth yeah this panel here will be attached to the canopy which will cover here uh, which i do later on in the build i'm not sure if i'm gonna what to do actually here because you know there's a lot of detail in there so probably what i will do is attach the canopy to this panel and then just have it so you can just remove it like that same as this panel here, uh, which I have, which needs riveting. Let's just grab one of it. There we go. So this panel goes on here. Uh, there's a little window there for it. Um, it does match up nicely, lengthwise. There we go. Just needs riveting, sorting. Uh, and the hole popping in the place there. Uh, that again, I could have removable. Obviously this isn't. This is all I'm going to stay here, but the sides I'm going to, you can see there's nothing on the sides. I have got the panels for here, but I'm not, uh, I'm not putting them in place. And you're obviously seeing the nose cone. That looks brilliant. That I'm going to leave off. Oh, detachable, make it detachable like that, as it is now. Um, if I do glue it in place, obviously it will have to be fastened up like that. I'm not too bothered about the gap. I have been using some uh, milliput uh, to fill in the uh, gapping on some of the panels uh, because some of the panels are a real pain but obviously with this I'm going to leave it like that so you will see a gap but it is why it is at the end of the day um, it is wooden um, the wood doesn't always play ball <laughs> but that is the nose cone the only thing I need to do is put a red stripe underneath here yeah but that looks brilliant well it does look brilliant actually and you can see the little man inside yeah 132 scale there's my front gunner there it looks brilliant actually now it's one i got with the tory factory kit that i couldn't put in the diecast version yeah here we have that wing again there you can see the nacelle is all nicely colored painted black matte black here um there's some detail there that clear nacelle there we go and here we have dark earth and you can see why that window though you can see some detail inside as well this went on brilliant and uh, there's enough room there the end of that shaft for the propeller as well that uh, looks fantastic just need the aileron on here and then i can paint this up and then attach it to the actual aircraft that is fantastic now moving on to the titanic here we have the forward well deck with those two hatches on. Uh, I have added some paint on the sides all the way around. Um, low pressure 
on the airbrush and it's come off pretty good actually yeah, I'm really chuffed with it nice straight edges yeah and this is one of the cranes as well as the difficulty was obviously the raised detail that's come off pretty good that actually the other one is exactly the same yeah, so that's what I've been doing on the uh, Titanic I have done a couple of the bulkheads but this particular bulkhead that is here I'm not going to do uh, well I'm not going to put the um, yellow on simply because there's far too much raised detail and I'm afraid of getting light bleed and I don't I have actually spread these I have burnished these tops as well so they, they, they do look more defined the detail on it not that you can tell or not if you have a look at your own uh, but yeah going back to this bulkhead here I'm not going to put a yellow um, border on it at all I'm just going to leave it white I have done on this one um, because this one there was no raised detail there's some portals but I could avoid them because that is like five mil so as you can see we have two more um, cranes here to pop into place so this one is from the bridge deck I think if I remember rightly so that won't fit there but the other two when we get them will fit there and there like that yeah so I'll paint them as well just give it a bit of detail I'm not bothering doing the hull on the sides that's all looks fine as it is black because they weren't fully um, yellow on here there was a lot more detail but obviously we haven't got that with the Titanic so there you go that is for the uh, like I said for the Titanic which look, does look brilliant I must admit I don't know I am really chuffed with that so I'll pop them back onto the ship afterwards and I'll show you more the detail later I did have um, I did find as well you know the little the two roof pieces for the bridge area uh, with the captain's bridge area uh, when I tried to pop them into place um, they didn't actually fit in place so I had to loosen the screws underneath <laughs> yeah again <laughs> just to get them into place but once I'd popped them into place and then uh, retightened the screws the actual gap closed up so it looks a lot, lot better to be honest because I am um, I did have another um, another set where I actually glued uh, not glued it painted it a darker grey um, but if you have a look at the back of the ship there's another piece I think it's one of the you know, I'm not sure if it's the second officer's quarters uh, the roof is exactly the same colour as the roof on the um, the bridge uh, so I've just left it as it is I'm not bothering painting it um, again I'm worried about paint bleed going all around it and just to put a little border on it you know it's quite fussy really to do that even with an airbrush to be honest but uh, yeah that's the Titanic I am expecting delivery tomorrow so that'll be fantastic hopefully I'll get all four issues up before a weekend um, but uh, yeah that'll be that'll be brilliant and there's only what 16 stages left of that so that hopefully will be finished by October we should get another delivery in August in all the four weeks time but so by the time the end of August uh, there will be two more deliveries left so that would be, that'd be brilliant same with the Knight Rider um, yeah I'm expecting delivery next week now we all know that fan will change from raw mail to yodel which is brilliant because yodel actually give you a tracking number and you can when you get the email it says track my order click on that and it will tell you still with sender because <laughs> mine's still with sender has been all week with sender um so there's a bit of delay in dispatching it even though you get an email off fan home saying we have now dispatch your uh, next package it has left the warehouse has it really because you're the love said it's with you <laughs> but that, i should get that next week they are quicker than raw mail i must admit so which is brilliant raw mail never gave you um well they give you a tracking number but if you try to use it it said we will only update this once it's been delivered and then it could be two weeks before they delivered it so they just took the time with yodel it, it has been coming a lot lot quicker and you can track it properly which is fantastic um let's see tomorrow 2nd of august i've got the u96 uh that'll be dispatched along with the batmobile tumbler um so they'll probably be on the channel in the next couple of weeks anyway the lancaster bomber i'm not expecting until at least saturday so that'll be on the channel next week uh and then it's just a case of what else do i do 
Um, obviously, I've got this, the, the wooden Lancaster bomber, so it gives me more time to do this, which is why I've managed to get 117 and 118 out pretty quick. 119, um, there are some panels. Uh, I didn't show you these, did I, before? But I'll show you them now anyway. Uh, these are the, for the, for the wing. There we go. So this is the, that's just a little bag. Set that clear in there. So this one, I'm not sure whether to paint it or whether to leave it clear because I've obviously painted that one. So there we go. This wing uh, requires these leading the edges on first. There we go. Something like that. Yeah, looks superb, that, doesn't it? And then I just need another panel here. Um, oops, there's a clear piece that's falling. I forgot about that. I have got the panel for that as well. Uh, so that will be virtually completed then. Um, the good thing about this hot weather is where the nacelles are concerned, the canopy glue. Uh, pop the canopy glue on, uh, clean it as best as possible, the excess off, stick it in the window, and within half an hour it's solid. <laughs> it's brilliant. It's quite flexible. Even if I need to take that apart, I can just pop it into the water and it just pulls apart, no problem. Uh, only problem is you've got to do it all again, of course. But it depends how fussy I and I am a bit fussy. I'm quite critical of what I do. Um, yeah, so that, that looks great. And uh, here's the underside as well. I've got to get all that shaped into place. Yeah, it does take some time getting these pieces together, especially when you pop that with that, like that. There we go. That's supposed to line up, but they don't always line up. You, know, you have to reshape them, blah, blah, blah. You know, it can be a bit of a pain, but it's very time consuming at times. Uh, oh, excuse me. Now, one other thing, uh, the channel not actually surpassed um, a million views, which I'm really chuffed about. Three and a half years I've been on YouTube putting uh, videos out. Uh, I can't remember how many videos I've got, to be honest with you, about 500, nearly 600 videos. Uh, and I passed a million views big, um, first week of July, I think it was. So we're well into the uh, next million, <laughs> which is great for my channel because it means that you guys like what I'm doing anyway. I uh, just need another couple of hundred um, uh, subscribers and then I'm, I'm at the 5,000 mark, which would be brilliant. Hopefully I'll get that in the next couple of months time, but we'll wait and see. Uh, it is summer, everybody's out there enjoying themselves, which is fantastic, but it is a bit hot and sometimes it's a little bit too hot sat in here doing a bit of modeling. So I've been taking it outside in the garden which is fantastic. Uh, but I think that's it though, this month. Yeah, I think we're caught up fully. Yeah, you've seen my new sign. Yeah, I'm a big kid. I love stuff like that. I've been doing a bit of Lego as well. Harry Potter Lego, I sold downstairs. Uh, I've got one or two pictures on my community tab. So if you're interested, go and have a look at that. Um, but yeah, yeah, there's Eddie looking fantastic. Nearly completed in here as well. <laughs> Need more room. I'm gonna have to buy a conservatory or something. The wife keeps mailing me buy a conservatory. Yeah, money, money, money. What can you do? Eh? But anyway, there we go. That is it. So uh big big thank you to all my um subscribers and everyone, anybody who views. And please do give me a, a like as well. Whenever you watch my videos, give us a like because apparently YouTube have changed the algorithm, I believe. And I've been told that uh, the more likes you get, the more circulation you get on YouTube. Um, so if you can like my videos, uh, that would be I'd be really, really grateful. And um, yeah, we'll see how things progress. But anyway, thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope that was of interest to you. Uh, if you have any comments, just yeah, just give us a line, stick us a comment in, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And I'll always try and help anybody with the builds as best as I can. But if you are going to get in contact with me, you've got a problem with the build please send me some pictures because it's difficult for me to actually understand the problem when you've just written it down. Um, and there are Facebook groups out there as well that can help. So if you are in a, having a problem, pop on some pictures. It does help. Uh, I do get the magazines and I uh, check out and have a look and I have helped as many people as I can when I can, but it's impossible if you don't give me pictures. Oh, it's not impossible, but it's virtually impossible. So the more help, the better. Anyway, Thanks again. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Bye for now.